Fun and Nonsense by Willard Bonte Introduction Fun and Nonsense are a pair of merry little twins, and when they come to visit us they bring their friends the grins. They're coming now to visit you. This page we'll call the door. To open wide, just turn the leaf. Why, we have met before. The Barber Said Chocolate Drop the Barber, Why, bless my ugly soul, I'll ask that stick of peppermint to be my barber pole. The Refusal Dear sweet lady cracker, my passions you know, And I scorn them, Judge Wafer, as you're lacking in dough. A Hopeless Case What is the use, quoth the whitewash brush, I'll comb my hair no more, For try as I will to make it lie, It still stays pompadour. The Greenhorn A lettuce walking out one day Lost his head, so lost his way. A pumpkin happened on the scene, And said it came from being green. Old Mr. Match Old Mr. Match gave his head a good scratch, And his face lighted up with a smile. It is getting quite dark, But with my cheery spark I will lengthen the day for a while. Thoughts Unstrung Alas, I fear my mind doth wander, And o'er this narrative I ponder. I usually know what I have read, But this time I have lost the thread. The Miser The pocket-book has money, On that subject he is daft. But when one strikes him for a loan, He answers, I am strapped. Dr. Key's Answer Shine, inquired the monkey wrench, of stately Dr. Key. No, replied that haughty soul, no monkey shines for me. The Chase Mr. Brush, on his steed, dashing with speed, was asked if he had time to spare. Said he with a smile, I'll be back in a while, but at present I'm hunting the hare. A Rising Doctor Dr. Yeastcake, it's hard for me to speak. As I haven't risen for more than a week. Take this, Mr. Roll, and never you fear. You'll rise before morning, so be of good cheer. The Sailor Bold Pilot von Pretzels, a crusty old salt, Who wears a rich shade of tan, Which he did not acquire at sea, by the way, But in a warm baking pan. Overheard in the cornfield Said young Mr. Pumpkin to old Mr. Squash, do you think Mr. Corn overhears what we say when we talk of his self-conscious stalk, and his moving Miss Mellon to tears? I cannot decide, Mr. Squash then replied, but I've had my suspicions for years, because he's so tall he can lean over all, then look at the size of his ears. Twins There go the scissor twins, cutting as ever. Some think them sharp. But few think them clever. A sharp lover. I dread you much, my little miss. You're such a dainty thing. I fear, although quite sharp myself, you've got me on the string. The greedy little pitchers. Now, my pretty little dears, little pitchers have big ears. But never let me hear it said that your mouths are big instead. Obliging Mr. Hammer. Old Mr. Hammer was so very, very good that he gave Mr. Shingle Nail a drive through the wood. The Malicious Brush When poor little Hand Glass was loudly berated for casting reflections, the brush was elated. The Wise Pin There was a pin in our town, and he was wondrous wise. He knew just when to cross his T's and when to dot his I's. But one small thing he did not know, a simple thing at that, he did not know t'was nice to wipe his feet off on the mat.